Today's episode of Toy Time is brought to you by Tanya Smith. Miss Smith is the 2020 Burroughs Welcome Fund Piedmont Triad Teacher of the Year. Hello, my name is Tanya Smith. I'm the 2020 Burroughs Welcome Fund Piedmont Triad Region Teacher of the Year. Welcome to my home. I'm teaching from home right now, remotely with my students, and now with you. I teach vocal music at Elkin High School and Elkin Middle School. That includes grades seven through 12. I've been teaching for 23 years. Part of that time I taught general music, and if you saw one of my earlier lessons, I did an elementary school lesson as well. This lesson is geared for middle school, upper middle school, throughout high school and it is designed to explore a genre of music called the spiritual. This genre of music is near and dear to my heart, not because I have a cultural connection at all, but because spirituals help me understand the culture and the past of another people and another place and time. People that suffered great oppression, people that sought freedom, people that not by their choosing, were placed in circumstances that were difficult, much like we've been placed in difficult circumstances today. And I think that sometimes you have to have real talk with students and real talk with people in order to be able to process emotions appropriately and effectively and productively. And so that's what I hope to do today with you. I'm going to be sharing some of the landscape of our area. I'm going to be showing you where I'm from, some of some photos of our um, area, of which I'm very proud, of Surrey County. And I hope that you enjoy this travel through time. I will also be singing some spirituals for you and sharing some of my favorite thoughts and quotes and information about the types of spirituals. We'll also be tying music to some scientific facts about how music reacts with your brain and how music helps you um, deal with things socially and emotionally in an appropriate manner. So the next thing we're gonna do is get a little bit of an introduction to Elkin and to me. And so I'll be right back in a moment. As promised, I'm going to show you a little bit about my location. Pardon the camera work. I'm doing this by myself with my phone, so um, it might be a little jittery at times. So thank you for your patience with that. This is a map of North Carolina. The star is Elkin. That's where I teach. And it shows uh, our location in reference to Charlotte and Raleigh. So you can see we're pretty far away from Charlotte and Raleigh. However, we do live at the uh, foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains, which is a wonderful place to live. We get to experience all four seasons pretty effectively, um, spring, summer, winter, and fall. I love fall. It's my favorite time of year. The next photo is going to show you the Blue Ridge Mountains. It's a, it's a photo I took this fall with the mountains in full color. So that's about a 20 minute drive from my house. And I'm so very fortunate to get to see that on a regular basis and grateful for that. Um, this is my school, Elkin High School, one of my schools. And this is Elkin Middle School where I teach um, seventh through eighth grade general music and chorus. Our topic today is spirituals, a genre of hope and resilience. So I'm hoping that after our discussion today, you'll be able to say, I can define a spiritual, I can understand the thoughts and feelings of the culture that wrote the spiritual. I can um, possibly even identify with it in some ways. And I can 
maybe even write lyrics to a spiritual for myself. So we're going to be looking at some of those activities today. But before we do, I want to talk a little bit about music and emotion. So music I've heard defined as something that helps you lean into an emotion. It helps you define an emotion that you're feeling. It helps you to um, deal with an emotion that you're feeling or it helps you to describe it by either producing it, writing it, composing it, or sharing it. So spirituals were one of the best ways of using all of those um, things to, ex to explain and experience at a time period uh, I've always said that music is the fabric of our humanity and that we need to sew our garment well. That's why I chose music education as my career. I think by sewing that fabric well, we as a people can come together even in times when we don't specifically agree about everything. We can agree that there is a type of music that we all enjoy and maybe we can share it and come to understand each other better. Because the music that you like at any particular time in your life, and it's a journey because my tastes have changed, although I am very tolerant of all types of music and actually enjoy all music. Um, I had a student introduce me to some very interesting music not too long ago that I've now found to be something that I very much enjoy. So never shut your mind to options. Always keep your mind open and be accepting of new ideas and thoughts. Um, it has been said you have to listen to songs up to 15 times to truly understand the concept that the composer is trying to convey. So I don't know if that's true of everyone, but I think that repetitive listening does help you a lot in that area. So you know that resilience is our way that we actually deal with difficult situations and difficult moments and how we rise above them to make something good of a situation that is inherently kind of difficult. So let's define the spiritual for just a moment. Spirituals are a genre of American folk music that articulate the suffering and oppression along with the religious belief system of African Americans during the time of slavery and quite some time after slavery ended. The, these songs have been enduring. These songs have lasted because we have constantly had times of difficulty and spirituals were continually written on up through and after slavery during the civil rights movement, during Martin Luther King's um, civil rights leadership, spirituals were written such as We Shall Overcome, the spiritual Swing Low Swing Chariot, which you will hear in just a few minutes sung, was also written after the time of slavery. There are three basic types of spirituals, call and response, slow and melodic, fast and rhythmic. Spirituals were created extemporaneously which means that they were created on the spot or improvised. They weren't really written down. And they were passed down through the oral tradition. In other words, families shared spirituals with each other, with friends. And then the friends took the spirituals and added verses, or they would improvise melodic lines. The, the lines were simple um, melodic lines and they were easy to pass down and what people did with them was their choice. Um, they were meant to be raw and real and very personal. In just a moment, we're going to discuss that more. At this point, I'm going to pause and let you hear my rendition of Swing Low Sweet Chariot. Swing Low Sweet Chariot was actually originally sung as a fast and rhythmic call and response. But when I was a little girl, my mother sang it to me more as a lullaby. And as my child, after my child was born, I sang the same song to him. 
as a lullaby in my particular style. So it meant something to me in a very different manner. To them, it represented the Underground Railroad uh, or it also represented freedom, you know, going to a better place. Uh, swing low, chariot was the chariot of God. Coming forward to carry me home was going to heaven, which was a much better place than they were at that time. Um, it was written in the 1930s and was given to, or maybe earlier than that, excuse me, I, I need to fact check that, but it was written earlier, but after slavery. And it was given to the Jubilee Fisk singers, which were former slaves that went around singing spirituals for groups in concerts. It was actually written by a Choctaw uh, man who identified with the concept of having been displaced, his people being displaced, just like the African Americans were taken from their home and not by their choice and displaced into um, slavery in the South. So we're gonna pause and let you hear Swing Low, Sweet Chariot. Swing Low, Sweet Chariot, coming for to carry me to carry me home. I looked over Jordan and what did I see? Coming for to carry me home. A band of angels were coming after me. Coming for to carry me home. Swing home. Sweet chariot. Coming for to carry me singing Swing Low Sweet Chariot. It was actually filmed down at my pond behind my house. I like to go down there because it's a peaceful place for me to be when I just need a brain break or some time to be alone. Um, the wind was blowing and it just seemed like a really nice setting for that piece and the way that I like to sing it. In the last segment I gave you some information about the writing of that piece, Swing Low Swing Chariot. 
and I made some mistakes in the telling of that story. As teachers, we make mistakes. I originally thought about re-filming the entire segment, correcting the mistake, and, and never letting you know that I made it. But instead of doing that, I'm going to use this as an opportunity to show you how to deal with mistakes when you make them and how I deal with them on a regular basis in my classroom because teachers make mistakes too. The information I gave you got jumbled up. The date that I gave you was from another lesson I was working on about another genre. So I use these four steps or several steps to uh, correct mistakes. I'm going to go over those in just a minute. I want to correct the date. Swing Low Sweet Chariot was written not in the 1930s, but in 1840. And the man that wrote it was Wallace Willis. He was not Choctaw. He was a slave of a Choctaw. And he decided to write it as a post-slavery anthem. And it was tied to the Underground Railroad and had secret messages embedded. And we're going to discuss how that works in a minute. Um, it was sent on later in the 1900s, early 1900s, to be sung by the Jubilee Fisk Singers, or the Fisk Jubilee Singers, which was an African-American college singing group, and they sang it as a choral piece um, around the country. So how do you correct mistakes? This is how I do, do it my way. I make a mistake. I acknowledge it. I correct it to the best of my ability, I apologize, and then I rise. Because if you stay and you worry about the mistake, then you can't go forward. So everybody falls, everybody fails. What you do is you get up and you do something about it. So I hope that that gives you a little insight on how teachers correct mistakes, and that's how I do it. There are songs that have um, in spirituals, so I'm going to go ahead and rise and go on with the lesson. There are spirituals that actually have hidden meanings. The song Swing Low Sweet Chariot had some hidden meanings. I'm going to show you an extension activity later on how to find hidden meanings in these pieces. Not only were spirituals work songs, spirit lifting songs, because the crux of the, the word spiritual is spirit, not only did they um, talk about the religious reliefs of uh, beliefs of the African Americans, but they were a form of communication for slaves that would like to escape their oppression um, during the time of slavery. The next piece you're going to hear is entitled Wade and in the Water, and it was filmed in our area at a location called Carter Falls. I want you to think about the lyrics to Wade in the Water. I want you to think about why water might have been an important means of escape or an important way that the slaves could escape during the time of slavery. I also want you to think about why they chose the stories from the Bible that they chose. Wade in the Water was based on the story of Moses escaping slavery from the Egyptians. You know, he took the Israelites out of slavery. He was their leader. And so Wade in the Water makes reference to that story in the Bible, and that would be incredibly important to the African-American slaves of that time. So stand by and um, take a listen to Wade in the Water. Wade. God's gonna trouble the 
water. God's gonna trouble the water. So you just listened to wade in the water. Did you figure out what it meant? Spirituals were divided into refrains and verses. The refrain was the exact same every single time. The verse had the same melodic line with or without some improvisation in the voice, but the words were different. So in wade in the water, wade in the water might have meant let's meet down by the water and wait in it to escape. Slaves were often tracked by packs of dogs, by slave owners or the people that were hired to find escaped slaves that were looking for freedom. Dogs could pick up the scent of men on land, but water made it more difficult because water moves and it makes noise. So, water splashing, especially around a waterfall like Carter Falls, might not have uh, been as unsafe because they would not have been as easily heard by people searching for them. So that's sort of the hidden meaning in that piece. We also know that um, spirituals were work songs and they were sung in the fields, but those work songs were communication very often. And they were, unbeknownst to the slave owners, telling each other their plans, which was an amazing use of language, an amazing use of music, um, and incredibly impressive and creative and innovative for those people in a time of great adversity. We're gonna look at an extension activity now because we're looking at secret codes of these spirituals. And we're gonna go back to Swing Low Sweet Chariot as an example. I'm going to show you the sheet that I have filled out. And that particular sheet will give you an idea of how you can decode the spiritual of your choice. All you have to do is research African-American spirituals with secret codes, listen to one, print off the lyrics, Make your own code sheet. You're good to go. So here is our spiritual decoding worksheet. I kind of think this is fun because it takes language and its literal meaning, and then it pulls back into its coded secret meaning. It also divides the song up into the refrain and the verses. So the refrain being swing low, sweet chariot coming for to carry me home. And that's usually sung twice in a row. And then you've got your verses and those are sung um, one right after the other. So you would have the verse, I looked over Jordan and what did I see? A band of angels coming after me. And then you would go back and sing swing low, sweet chariot again. And then you would do, if you get there before I do, tell all my friends I'm coming to, and you'd sing the refrain again, and then you'd sing, um, I'm sometimes up, I'm sometimes down, but still my soul feels heavenly bound, and you go back and sing the refrain. So we're going to look at the literal meaning of swing low, which is come on down. You know, the coded secret meaning might be come to slaveholding states. I hope you can see this in this video. Sweet chariot is heavenly or spiritual ride. That's the literal meaning. The coded secret meaning would be maybe the underground railroad. Coming for to carry me home is referring to heaven, but the coded secret meaning might mean northern states or Canada. The verses, I looked over Jordan and what did I see? That's speaking about the Jordan River in the Holy Land. But the coded secret meaning might be the Mississippi River, the Ohio River, or whatever river on which they were living or working. A band of angels coming after me, that's just a group of angels, literal meaning, a group of angels. Coded meaning might mean um, the Underground Railroad workers. I've got works, but it's workers. So yes, people that would help them escape. 
if you get there before I do, tell all my friends I'm coming too. I mean, that's pretty literal. But what that might mean is if my family's escaped before I have, tell them about my plan and to wait for me. I'm sometimes up, I'm sometimes down. The literal meaning. The coded meaning is I'm having good days and bad days. And don't we all, especially right now, have good days and bad days. But still my soul feels heavenly bound. Literal meaning. You know, going to heaven. Think I'm going there. Coded meaning. But I know I will soon escape to free land. All of those meanings on that code sheet, that lyrics, literal meaning, coded secret meaning sheet, you can do with many of the spirituals that you can find online or in books that have been um, written down since they were extempor extemporaneously composed. So there you go. That's an extension activity for spirituals. Spirituals have become such a lasting part of our society, our musical heritage, that many of them have been turned into instrumental arrangements. The spiritual Deep River is a beautiful melodic spiritual that has been written in many forms from arrangements for orchestra, band, and solo instruments as well. Deep River is one of my favorite piano arrangements to play. So I will be playing this for you in the next video. I hope you find its melody as soothing and spirit lifting as I have found it to be. Well, we've traveled back in time. We've looked at the spiritual as a song of resilience and hope. And now let's come to today and let's talk a little bit about that. And what's going on and how confusing it is. I know that many of my students are very confused about this global pandemic and how to process their emotions during this pandemic. As a teacher, I've struggled with it as well. I miss my students. I miss the face-to-face -face interaction every day. I'm a face-to-face -face educator. I'm a vocal music educator. I miss singing with my students in big groups. I miss hearing their voices, but I'm not giving up. There will come a time when we'll gather again. We will rise past this situation I think about what kind of songs will be written about this time in history. Maybe you'll be one of the writers of these songs. Maybe I'll write a song. 
about it. Maybe it will be my spiritual. Maybe you already have a list of songs that you're using. Spirituals were their song list to deal with adversity. We would call that list today our playlist. Do you have a spiritual playlist? A list of music that helps lift your spirits? This time has helped me grow. Growing is painful, but in the growing comes the knowing, and there's a lot of knowing to be had during this situation. To the seniors, the class of 2020, those of you who were expecting to close this year with your normal senior activities to which you've looked forward for, for the last four years, my heart is with you. It is with you. But just know that there will be celebrations. And I celebrate you every day and have ever since you started school. Those are not only the seniors at my school, Elkin High School, but seniors across the state of North Carolina. I'm proud of you. We all are. We think you're wonderful people and you're history makers right now. And you're gonna be world changers. You're gonna knock the top off of it. I just know it. Not all spirituals were sad. Not all spirituals were slow. So we don't wanna end on a note, no pun intended, like that. Please listen to the last spiritual example. It's a call and response spiritual called Walk in Jerusalem, being sung by my high school choir. Thank you for taking the time to listen to my ramblings and information about spirituals and for your forgiveness for my mistake. Have a great day.